So I know a lot of people are having a tough time in tech right now, especially those trying to find a job. You can see here in this Reddit post, uh, post about three months ago in r slash IT career questions, why is finding a job so hard right now? I got laid off in March and I've been searching for a job since then. I understand my experience is going to be held against me, but I'm just struggling to even find positions to apply to. And if you head on over to Team Blind, the most jolliest of websites, you can see tech jobs are in a deep recession post, as well as this one, uh, post on November 3rd, no tech job created in October 2024, mass layoffs coming. October job reports show that there are only 12,000 net jobs created in the country in the whole month of October. In reality, it's a net loss of more than 50,000 since they always revise them down anyways. There were literally almost zero tech jobs created in the whole month of October. That's also including all the low paying contracts and help desk jobs that pay $15 an hour, which to be honest, nothing wrong with that. If you ignore the low paying contract jobs, tech sector probably lost 50,000 jobs last month. That is an unbelievably low rate of hiring for a developed country with 330 million people. And I think a lot of people are feeling this because with the layoffs that happened last year, earlier this year, I think it's just hard to find a position when there's so many different people who want one and there just seems to be not a lot of jobs available. And typically, if you're searching for a job, you'd use a website like Indeed where you can search by title, keyword, the city you're in. You might even use LinkedIn to look for job postings. But what these websites do is they show postings for every job available in the country or wherever you are. And that could be engineering rules, that could be programming rules, that could be marketing rules, that could be in fields that have no affiliation to you or what you're looking for. And so I really want to solve this problem of having a bunch of these programming jobs available in one spot without having to jump between all these different application websites and navigating through the keywords. But I discovered that getting that data is challenging and scraping it is even harder than I expected. And so that's when I came across Bright Data. And Bright Data is a service that offers proxy networks, web scraping, and even data sets available for you to download and use for different applications that you wanna build. So for example, Bright Data offers this web scraper API that you can use and type in something like LinkedIn and actually gives you a bunch of these API calls that you can make and it will give you the data from the actual LinkedIn website right now. This could be LinkedIn company information, you can collect by URL, LinkedIn posts, discovered by URL, and even LinkedIn job listings information discovered by keywords. So this is one of the web scraper APIs that I was interested in, but I also discovered this data set marketplace. And when I typed in LinkedIn, I saw it gave me this LinkedIn job listings information prompt. And when I clicked it, I was surprised to see that it was able to give me 17.4 million records of a bunch of different information, all scraped from LinkedIn that it provides me in a snapshot. So I pulled the resource from the web scraper API from the web data data set from a bunch of different sources like LinkedIn indeed to go ahead and create techroles.io, a very simple website. You can see it here, link will be in the description down below since it is live. A quick refresh shows that you don't need to sign up, you don't need to buy a subscription. It is literally a website I created designed to make it easier for different software engineers to apply for different roles in the United States. I'm sorry to all my friends who are non-US citizens or don't live in the United States. If this is a feature that you want for your country, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see if I can get it for you guys ASAP. But what this is, is basically a website that pulls together all the job postings from Indeed, Glassdoor, LinkedIn, you name it, and it makes it just easier for people to apply to and to check out this job in more detail. So every job posting has the title of the job, so backend software engineer, the company name, the location, the seniority, so is it a mid to senior level, director level, intern level, uh, junior role, if it's full time or not, and the compensation bench, so the base salary all the way to the top. I'm sure it's negotiable as well. Uh, other information I thought was useful was the time this job was posted, the number of applicants, but the feature that I think is the most relevant for software engineers is the popular technology and filtering based on what technology or programming language that job position is looking for. And I think it's the most important one because so many of us have different skill sets in different languages, different technologies, that it's such a useful thing to just look for and see what position can you directly apply what you're good for. So for example, popular technologies, you can click Python, it's gonna pull you all the different positions that have Python available uh, listed in the job description, or you can go to Go, uh, Docker as well, uh, even non-programming languages like Mongo, uh, DB, you can see here, type this in. 
and you can pull up all the postings that list MongoDB as a required technology for the job description. Uh, and another feature that I was really happy about was this hot opportunity feature, the orange one that you saw in the beginning, where uh, I basically say, if it was posted fairly recently and there's not that many applicants, we can make it a hot opportunity because if it's new and there's not that much competition, you have a higher chance of standing out uh, in the interviewer application process. If I go here, go to a couple pages, I can you know click this one, a software engineer UI framework by ByteDance in Seattle. It was posted a couple of weeks ago, 25 applicants. It's an entry level role, full time. This is the competition band, has a bunch of different technologies, programming language, cloud info that I could use or, or that they're looking for. And if I click apply now, it can take me directly to their page for a software engineer UI framework and I can apply to this role directly. So overall, I'm hoping that techroles.io is going to be helpful for different people looking for a job right now in these tough times. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's any feature that you want me to include. One feature that I personally want is for you to click that subscribe button. It's completely free and it helps the channel quite a lot. We're on a path to 50,000. So if you can, that would be great. So hopefully you guys check out techroles.io. Big shout to Bright Data for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to make something like this, something I've always wanted to do for a long time. Now, so big kudos to them. Definitely excited to work with them in the future. But let me know, is there anything on techroles.io do you want to see me include? Anything future-wise that is missing to make it easier for you guys to go and apply to different programming positions? But as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.